there are more to this but let's let's take it gradually see the gradual process let's, let's take it gradually okay uh i am going to draw out four to six entry types and i will tell you how they work i want to tell you how they work Now, I'm coming. I'm going to take our time a little bit just for me to to draw a neat chart here so that you can screenshot it and save it for your own purpose. Okay. Yeah, you can save this. Uh, don't worry, I will I will download it. I'll save this for you guys. Okay. Now number one. Number one is the FVG, the fair value gap. The fair value gap. Now when you're talking about fair value gap, we have this a uh, Please. Why is this in all? Now, when we're talking about the fair value gap, you all know what uh, fair value gap is. Now, in this situation, in this situation, if we have we have other block, we have a breaker block, we have a box setup, many more like that. But in this situation, most time price mostly react to fair value gap than other blocks of course fair value gap is the most powerful area in the charts most powerful area most significant area in the chart fair value gap you can't have a fair value gap here and have another block here and think price 
we leave the fair value gap for the what era block no price will react to fair value gap price will reject from fair value gap so if you are trading most time your tp should be your fair value gap your exit should be your fair value gap your entry most time your fair value gap so this kind of situation price reacted to a fair value gap right here Comment, please. Yeah, price reacted to these words to a fair value gap right here. Then, for continuation, I will not use charts. I'm supposed to use charts, but I want to see how, how, how perfect you are. Okay, so price reacted to what a fair value gap that it's reacted from the fair value gap and what move on for the buy now for the sell. It's reacted to the same fair value gap. I'm coming to this. It is, it is inside. Okay, no problem there. Uh, let me turn this. So the same fair value gap. And what? Price rejects from the what? We look at the value gap. This entry model one. This type one. This type one. Fair value gap. It can be around this area. It can be around here. It can be around here. But once you spot it, when uh, it's what it's your respect. But let me just assist you. Let me help you on this. I will not be using charts, but let me just help you on this, just for you to understand that. Okay, this is what I'm trying to explain. Now. Look at this break of market structure. Many of you will be anticipating for this area. This place has been mitigated for this area. Now look at this gap. Fair value gap will always stand as continuation pattern for continuation entry. Most time, fair value gap don't, doesn't need inducements. I think I've, I've, I've once said this thing. Fair value gap does not need inducements most times. Price will react from it and move. Can you see? The fair value gap. That's type one. Now let me save this for you guys. That's type one. Now type two. Okay. Oh my God. Type two. Oh my God.
And uh, on Instagram, I'm supposed to put today's okay. Type two. Now, like I said, this is discount and premium entry model type two. Let me draw it in the down trend. and this okay the discount and uh, premium entry model which is the type 2 now in this kind of scenario let's say you have a void you have a void a, a good momentum and you don't have any opposite candle right here there are some scenario like that as you just see a brick of market structure boom you don't have any uh any reaction any other block any imbalance here yeah this is where you come out with your words fibonacci from this low to the high so this high and you expect price to come to 50 percent of it to continue the trend so this 50 percent will be your words your entry you wait for confirmation on lower time frame at the fifty percent zone. So the fifty percent will be your what? Will be your entry. The fifty percent will be your entry. So if you can't use a, a, a risk entry, let's say you have just thirty pips to this low, you can risk it. But if you have like thirty or twenty pips, just wait for confirmation on lower time frame. Either five minutes, three minutes, or one minute using confirmation at the fifty percent level. So this is uh the entry model two now let me save it for you guys i'm giving you assignment on this okay same as this as well same as this you use the fibonacci the entry entry model three uh -huh. we have same structure i think i will not be deleting this because this is it's kind of Oh, I'm coming, please. Let me first to, to start. All right. Let me use this to, to explain. Let me use this to explain. Okay.
Okay, now the type theory is the breaker block. Now I think I've explained this several times. And uh let's say we have uh, this right here. We have this train and we have this supply. We have a break of market structure, we have this supply, and we are expecting a sale from this supply, and this supply is filled. It's filled without no reaction. As we have a reaction from it here, that is where we call this place a flip entry. But we don't have any reaction from this place. This is what the breaker block. So price is going to react from the what? From the breaker for the continuation. So most time, some, some people call it breakout and retest. The breakout and the retest. retest. I have an example here, but I will not show you. I will not show you till next week. So I will, I will be giving you an assignment. I will give you an assignment. So the breakout block is what price is going to what? To react to, then continue the trend. Same as the downtrend. You have this demand zone that is supposed to what? To continue the buy trend or field. Now this is the what? The breakout block. Let me save this for you also. Please, I don't want any voice right now. Please. Okay, that's type three and type four. Sir. Please, I don't want any. Yes. I want to ask you this, sir. Okay. Uh. The, the kind of confirmation you are asking us to wait for is it the change of the character type of it or is it is there any other one? Don't worry, you 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 ask that. I mean, the, reason, the reason why I don't want uh, any distraction for this class is because I'm recording and there are some people that still need it. So after this class, you can you can ask, okay. you can drop your voice notes, then I will I will reply you. Don't worry. So I don't want any voice right. at all. Right. All right. So. We have uh, we have another side. Let me talk about flee. That should be type four. Okay, now type four. This thief, like I said, I think I'm going to draw another structure for this. I think I'm going to draw another structure for this. Then uh, I'm coming. Let's 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 go here. Okay. And uh, yeah. This is the flip. Oh, let me raise beta. Let me raise beta. Okay, we have this. Yeah, let me raise beta. And boom.
right. Okay. Uh, the downtrend. Ah, uh, I'm on. Okay. I'm coming, please. Peach now, ah, uh, they match. Okay, we have this. I'm sorry if the way this shit is misbehaving now. Okay, and we have this field. We have this field. And we have the flip. Okay, now, this is the entry model 4. Now, look at this. We have this supply that price is meant to use. Price reacted to it, but failed to break its structure and it break it to the upside part. So this reaction here, this area, this place has, has filled, the supply has filled and gave reactions. So this area is the flip. So we are expecting price to come back and make use of the words, the flip entry for the continuation. Same in a downtrend. A demand field and created a flip expecting price to make use of what this to continue the trend okay then entry mode five entry mode five okay, let me go let me go to the up up one Okay, we have the other block. You all know that. Now let's see, we we have this trend and uh, we have another block right here or somewhere here. Not if you ever look up, you can have another block here. So the last opposite candle, you all know that that caused the break of market structure. That's what most people refer to the other block. So let's let's see, we have the. The last process card at this zoo right here this area okay i'm coming let me change the color change this color um Change this. Okay. Okay, let's see. We have the other block right here. Can you guys see it? Now, the last opposite candle before this massive push is what most of you categorize as what other block. So, 
price will come back for the other block the trend if you make it of the other block then go to your whatever direction make it of the other block First, make it of the other block and uh, go to your direction. This is type five. And the type six. Is this. If you have many type, well, don't, don't, don't stress yourself much. Don't stress yourself much. Do not stress yourself much. Okay. Now the type C is uh, the box setup. Let me, let me call it. Let me call it box setup. Let me call it uh, the quasi model. Quasimodo type. Type this. Now, this. We have two type of this. We have two type of this. Number one. Okay. Box right here. Box right here. I will, I'm going to show you an example of this. I'm going to show you an example. First, I've not talked about this before. So this is the type one. Now let's say we have this break of market structure. We have this break of market structure. And we have a demand here that price is meant to use before. And this area filled. This area. Price is meant to use it. It's filled. And we are expecting it to turn to a breaker. And price broke the structure. And you know, this place has already filled. This demand has already filled. This is what I was already filled, and you are expecting a sell from it. But because you are buying, this thing is coming from my time frame, and you have a uh, you have a break of market structure. So this area we stand as what the entry. I'm coming. I'll show you. Don't worry. to show you don't worry and uh this same as this now this area is meant to use to sell and it's filled, it's going to, and it came back. It is supposed to turn us to the breaker to continue the buy train. But because this is coming from higher time frame zone, it is coming from higher time frame zone. So 
this area filled again and break structure. So these three are filled. We turn towards to the supply, the breaker block. That is number one. And number two, let's say you have this kind of structure. Let's say uh, this is a demand zone. Now let me take my time and explain this. Let's say this is a demand zone. Okay, let me first save this thing for you guys. Okay. Let's say this, this is a demand zone and you have another block here that price is reacting to. And price reacting to it like this. Do something like this. It does not give you it does not give you a clearer structure like this. From the zone. No. It does not give you a clearer structure like this. Price just give you something like this. Let's say price give you something like this. Now price now owns this place. Price on this place and move like this. This is what we call manipulation leg. This is what we call manipulation leg. For breaking this blue, this is the manipulation leg. So you don't need to wait for price to break this eye. You don't need to stress yourself. You don't need to wait for price to break this eye. Immediately you have this manipulation leg. And this, this place has already filled you. Let's say this place has already filled you. This place are ready for you. So we have this accumulation and the manipulation leg. And this place filled already. And it's it was it's distributed. So this distribution this uh distribution, you don't need to wait for price to that to start breaking this eye. Just set your entry immediately here. You see a single candle will come to continue. You don't need to wait for the break of this eye. A single candle will come to continue. So this area, this area will be your what? Your, your point of interest. This angle. Where it's manipulated from. This area that price broke. Will now be your what? Your entry. You come in, please. You don't need to wait for... Uh, you are waiting for it to break that eye. Uh, to break this eye for you to, to see the confirmation. Then... This. So let me save this for you too. And I will explain this. I'll show you on the live chat. I'll show you. Because this might be the first time you are you are seeing this. Yeah. And uh, okay. Now let's go to the live chat. Now, I told you about Quasimodo entry. The Quasimodo entry. Now, we have this break of market structure. Mitigation. This place has mitigated something and it's broke structure as well. And it has liquidity. It has liquidity. So this, we should be looking at this for a sale. But you can see our price field us. Now, this area will be your, your entry. This area will be your entry. This area is going to be your entry. Target whatsoever value you are targeting. Or you are targeting this low first because this uh this is significant CP. So let's see. Okay, we are targeting this place there. Come in, please. OK, 
Okay, maybe I did not mark it well. The other block from the other block. Yeah, this is it. From this other block, yeah. This is it. You can set your stop loss this way. This is a risk stop loss. What? Advisable stop loss. Then can you see? Then boom. Now we have the same example right here. Now, let me now look for the, 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 the other part I told you about. The manipulation leg. I told you about. Let me look for an example. I mean, this is price clear. It you don't need to wait for a very long time. This place will be your odds. Now, let me go to three minutes time frame. This place is reacting to this area. This is reacting to this area. This imbalance here, can you see? I told you about this kind of entry this week. Yeah. This is reacting to this area. Now we have this leg. We have this leg and we have this eye. So we have this break of structure because this is structure on its own on lower time frame. So many people will be expecting this kind of entry to hold. You know, we have this loop. Then for people that use this kind of entry, let's see. Now they have entered this loop. They manipulated this this loop. This loop has what? Entered. So this area, this candle, will be your what? Your entry. This candle. You don't need to, you don't need to wait for price to come and break this high before you pick your trade. No, you don't need it. Immediately you see this manipulation leg and this distribution. Once price is distributed, you don't need to wait much that you are expecting price to break one eye or not. Then don't waste your time. Oh, sorry, you are you are buying. I'm not saying this is how it happens every time, but when you are you are in a strong demand or a strong supply, this is an entry model that you can use. If you are waiting for confirmation, this is part of the confirmation you can use. You can what you can use. Now let's see. Can you see immediately? So now, for many people that are waiting, that are waiting for this eye. Can you see immediately? Many people are waiting for this eye, but this is what price make is of this week. Why don't you don't need to be since you know what you are doing? You don't need to start refining. Uh, to to no no no, you can use the body so that you won't miss the trade. But if you want to refine, you can use the week. I tell you about this week, and if you miss it, all the best. But if several places for you to what to use the body, since you know what you are doing, I don't think three pips stop loss is much for you, or four pips rather. Can you see? So many people will still be waiting for. I am waiting for it to break this eye before I do any other thing. No, you don't need it. So this is an example. Can you see the Quasimodo pattern? Should I add boom? Should I the move? Come in, please. Can you see the pattern? So this is the entry. Very simple. So that's all about that. If you have question, please show them in the group. I will, I will reply you. I don't want any voice right here. So I will reply you. Then I will list the assignments. Once I send all these pictures, then I will give you the assignments. Then don't worry. I will reply all questions tonight. I will reply everything tonight. So thank you very much for joining.